So I'll start. So my name is Casey Lindquist, and I'm here to present to you my company, Breezy Willow. We provide products with a country touch that make your house a home. So I'd like to start by a little activity and ask you all to take a moment and close your eyes. And no one can cheat, everyone needs to do it. And I want you to think about your house. Think about your dorm room, think about your bedroom, think about your kitchen, your living room. Now imagine all the objects that are in these spaces. I can assume that you probably have some picture frames hanging on your walls in your bedroom. You might have some flower arrangements on your kitchen table. Maybe some wood signs with life-saying quotes in your living room. Now imagine if all of those items were gone. I can imagine that those spaces are looking pretty bare, pretty empty. Definitely not the warm and welcoming feeling you want for your guests or for yourself. Now you guys can all open your eyes. And I want to draw your attention to the slide. So the image on your left is probably what your bedroom looked like when I had you imagine all the items out of it. It's very sterile looking, not very warm and welcoming. And if you look at the image on your right, this is an image that looks much different. This bedroom looks a lot more lively, much more homey, has great objects in it, such as home decor objects. And it's definitely more of a space and a room that you probably are striving for to have in your home. Now, through this activity, I've shown to you that you are all consumers of home decor products already. So there is a demand and a need for these type of products. But currently, the products that you have in your home are not handcrafted, they're probably not one of a kind, probably not locally made or recycled, and they're probably not personalized, and they're probably also very expensive. Now, the items through Breezy Willow are handcrafted. They're locally made, they're recycled, they're one of a kind, and they have personalization opportunities. Now, I want to draw your attention to, for the rest of the time that I speak, as there will be images flashing through that will give you a better understanding of the products that we offer through Breezy Willow. You'll see various glassware, you'll see old picture frames turn into chalkboards, and you'll see different types of flower arrangements. Some that are in like old tin pails, some that are in milk jar jugs, and I just want you to pay attention as I continue. So our products that we currently make for Breezy Willow are able to factor around different trends, different seasons, and different holidays, which allows us to have a quick inventory opportunity. This is really great because it allows us to constantly be able to meet the demands of our consumers. And it also allows us to be innovative and change our products as we need to. So currently, Breezy Willow is set up to provide jobs. It's to provide jobs for individuals that are in college. It's to provide jobs for, for stay-at-home parents that would like to make some extra money. It's for people that are in assisted living or in retirement currently. These individuals get to make products through their hobby, and then Breezy Willow takes them, markets them, and sells them for them. So they're able to make a profit off of making things that they love. Now currently our, auto, our, projects, our products excuse me, are being sold through solely Facebook and word of mouth. So as we expand this coming summer, we'd like to start going into Etsy, Amazon, having our own website, and various flea markets in Minnesota. We'd also like to own our own boutique in five years. So currently on Facebook, we have 117 likes with a 420 post reach. We've made 58 items and we've sold 51 of those items. So 88% of our initial inventory has been gone since starting this project three months ago. We've generated total revenue of $279 in the last month and total profit of $176. So as you can tell, there's not a huge difference between our total profit and total revenue, and that's due to the fact that we take items that people no longer want, such as, like, we find them at garage sales and thrift stores, and so they're very low cost for us. We also conducted a survey and a focus group, which allowed us to understand our market, our current products, and the potential of Breezy Willow. We learned from our survey that 75% of individuals spend a great time looking at do-it-yourself or DIY crafts that are found on Pinterest. Now, I use this statistic because a lot of people may say that our products could be made by individuals or by anyone, which for some of them, that could be true. But we also learned that less than 25% of the individuals who actually look at these do-it-yourself crafts actually end up making them. <laughs> And we learned that the number one reason for that is it's very time consuming. And people don't have the time to sit down, and a lot of people don't have the patience or skill, which is where Breezy Willow provides service. We also conducted a focus group where we sat down with 12 individuals varying in gender and age, and we learned great insight into our current products, our future products, and the overall pricing of our products. We learned the great things that they liked about our products, they thought that we're really going in a great direction, they really loved our glassware or our chalkboards, things that they could use right there and then, they really like the tangible idea. We learned for future products that personalization is very important to them and it creates a whole new value and they really appreciate being able to pick the colors that they want or being able to pick a certain sign, like what they want on the sign, on a wood sign. We also learned that our current price point is very low. 
So we learned that we, as we move forward, they'd be willing to pay a much higher rate than we currently are offering our products, which is essential to know as we continue with Breezy Willow. So overall, from our market research and from our past month in sales, we've learned there's great potential for Breezy Willow. So join Breezy Willow and discover the products that are unique as the people living, breathing, and working in the spaces that it brightens. Thank you. Is there any questions? Um, can you tell me a little about your distribution? Yes. Our distribution, so currently I've been the one that's hand delivering all these items. So since I mentioned earlier, Facebook is our primary mode of selling. So it happens that a lot of the people on my Facebook page are people that I know are go to Gus Davis. So it hasn't been a huge issue thus far, but obviously when we start to do Etsy and Amazon, we want to be able to ship our products. And then we'd like to stay, I mean, anywhere in the United States that we can go with it. And distribution has also been one of our challenges because as our products have, are getting larger, which we have a flight palette that showed up on there, like that just that doesn't fit in my car. So right now it's not been able to get delivered to its buyer. Someone bought it and I can't get it there. So that's something that we would like to use funding for is in order to have a way of distribution. Let me ask a question about the other end of the supply chain. Uh, you indicated a lot of products today. You're picking up at um, garage sales or kind of antique shopping. How do you scale that? How do you source higher volumes as you grow the business? Yes. So moving forward, so currently I've been the one that's made the 58 items that I mentioned earlier, but that's not the, the plan of Breezy Willow. It's to have independent contractors and individuals making the products. So if you have it spread out between, like say, we have two independent contractors right now, and we would like to quadruple that number here very soon, but those individuals would be responsible for finding their own materials. So we'd be able to divide up the searching for materials between the different independent contractors. Great, thank you so much. Thank you.